Welcome to our educational video. This video has been developed by MedNav. MedNav is an organization that helps to promote women's and children's health worldwide through education and innovation. If you'd like to know more about our work or indeed support us, please visit this website link. First, prepare for delivery and potential resuscitation. You will need a flat surface, two towels, an ambi bag with a pop-off valve, different size masks, a stethoscope, different size Goodell airways, suction, a laryngoscope, and a clock. Receive the baby and start a clock. Dry the baby and stimulate it with a towel. Dry and stimulate the baby for 30 seconds, removing the wet towel. Wrap the baby to keep the baby warm and then make sure that you can see the chest in order to assess the baby in terms of tone, colour, breathing and heart rate. If there is a meconium blockage present, then you can suction it. Ensure the head is in a neutral position. If the head is extended or flexed, the airway will close. Hold the mask using a pincer grip. Size the mask by rolling the mask over the chin and the nose. If the mask covers the eyes, then it is too big. Hold the mask with the pincer grip and deliver five inflation breaths. One, two, three, two, two, three, three, two, three, four, two, three, five, two, three. If the chest wall did not move, perform a single person jaw thrust. One, two, three. Two, two, three, three, two, three, four, two, three, five, two, three. If the chest wall did not move or if you have an assistant, you can consider a two-person technique with a two-person jaw thrust and your assistant providing the inflation breaths. One, two, three, two, two, three, three, two, three. Four, two, three, five, two, three. If the chest wall's not moving, then you need to consider advanced airway techniques, such as a Goodell airway. If the chest wall has risen, you must go on and assess the baby in terms of tone, colour, breathing and heart rate. If the heart rate is less than 60 and the chest wall is rising, continue ventilation breaths for 30 seconds. You must go on and assess the baby in terms of tone, colour, breathing and heart rate. If the heart rate is less than 60 or not improving, you must move on to chest compressions. If you are alone, you can use a single person technique. Delivering chest compressions with two fingers below the nipple line in, at the sternum at a rate of 3 to 1. If you have an assistant, you can use a double person technique to achieve a rate of 30 breaths a minute. After 30 seconds, you must reassess the heart rate. If the heart rate's improving, you must continue ventilation breaths at a rate of 30 per minute. If the heart rate is less than 60 and still not improving, you must continue CPR. At this stage, 
you may consider whether to give the baby drugs such as adrenaline. If there are no signs of life, no heart rate or breathing for 20 minutes, consider to stop the resuscitation. <laughs>